Welcome back to our final portion in the class New Life in Christ. In the last two videos or portion, we discussed new life in Christ or salvation and the transformation it brings, mm -hmm. both of which require repentance. Through the Bible, we see Jesus repeatedly preaching to repent. Mm -hmm. We believe this is an area where the enemy has deceived many by providing us an incorrect definition of what Jesus meant when he said repent. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes we think repent only means to confess all the bad things we've done, mm -hmm. ask forgiveness and be sorry. Mm -hmm. But repentance is so much more than feeling sorry for being bad and saying a sinner's prayer. That's right. We hear the word repent in English and have an idea of what it means. But the actual word in the original language the Bible was written is met metanoia. metanoia. Metanoia, which means change the way you think. And then begin living according to your new way of thinking. Repentance isn't just a Christian word that means to confess all your sins and stop it. <laughs> repentance in this context of changing the way you think and live can be used in many ways. You could repent from being a staunch supporter of one political party to supporting mm -hmm. a completely different one, like changing from Republican to becoming a Democrat mm -hmm. or vice versa. Or you can repent from being an atheist and become a Pharisee or religious person, and neither of those have anything to do with the new life in Christ. Mm -hmm. We define repentance in this class and throughout this journey as change in the way you currently are thinking and living to think and live in a completely different way. Correct, yeah. Repentance <clears throat> is necessary to receive new life in Christ, but mm -hmm. continual repentance is also necessary to understand what being a new creation mm -hmm. in Christ means. Or transformation. Mm -hmm. Repentance isn't just changing your thoughts, but changing your entire way of thinking and perceiving. Information alone does not produce transformation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Adam and Eve made the decision to disconnect from God as their mm -hmm. source, and they chose the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, or mm -hmm. information as their source. Mm -hmm. That knowledge brought death to them and the mm -hmm. generations after them. And from that moment till Jesus, men had no other source but the knowledge of good and evil. But Jesus came to show us a new way uh, and give us new life beyond the to reveal truth yes yeah, <laughs> beyond the knowledge of good and evil yeah. information and knowledge that our mind receives and acts on will bring conformity mm -hmm. to the knowledge we've received mm -hmm. that's why the bible tells us in romans 12 too do not be conformed mm -hmm. to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind Bas yeah. basically when it says be transformed by the renewing of our mind it means to be transformed we must repent and change the way we think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes our old incorrect ways of thinking about God, about ourselves and life, they're very established, they're mm -hmm. very ingrained. They're like paved highways, like eight lane freeways mm -hmm. in our mind that yeah, yeah. take us to this destination mm -hmm. of wrong ideas about God and ourself. Yeah. And we need to allow the Spirit of God to create new roads and pathways mm -hmm. of thinking that guide us to the truth about who He is and who we are now in Him. And yes, and we need the Spirit of God to teach us how to live this new life in Christ. To be conformed mm -hmm. is something we do in our own strength based on knowledge or information. Mm -hmm. But transformation is something God does as we align our mind, will, and emotions with the truth that His Spirit reveals to our spirit. Yes. Repentance for salvation and transformation requires a revelation of truth that renews our mind and changes our perspective or way of thinking. And when our mind is renewed, then that leads to an emotional response of turning away from what we've embraced in the past. Mm -hmm. This is a change of direction, a change in the way of thinking and feeling mm -hmm. that causes us to make a decision with our will to begin to act and live differently mm -hmm. based on the new way of thinking. Correct. Yeah. Webster's Dictionary defines revelation as something that is revealed by God to humans or the act of revealing and communicating mm -hmm. divine truth. Mm -hmm. And John 8.32 says, when we know the truth, the truth will set us free. Mm -hmm. Like the animals born captive in the zoo, we can be set free from our own limited way of thinking and living. 
Yes, in 2 Corinthians 3.17 says that where the Spirit of the Lord is, mm -hmm. there is freedom. Amen. In John 16.13 in the Amplified says, But when He, the Spirit of truth, the truth-giving Spirit comes, mm -hmm. He will guide you into all the truth, the mm -hmm. whole full truth. Mm -hmm. For He will not speak His own message on His own authority, but He will tell you whatever He hears from the Father. Yes. 2 Corinthians 3.18 says that we all are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, mm -hmm. just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Have you noticed a key factor or common denominator in all mm -hmm. these verses? Yep. The Spirit of God or the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yep. A revelation of truth that frees and transforms comes from the Holy Spirit. And our spiritual growth is a choice we make to repent, to renew our minds with truth, and to learn to live guided by the Spirit of God. Yes. Jesus said in John 14, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through union with me. Jesus also said in John 10, 9, and 10, I'm the gateway. Mm -hmm. To enter through me is to experience life, freedom mm -hmm. and satisfaction yeah jesus is the way mm -hmm. to new life yeah. he said he's the way he said he's the truth it's he's the truth that frees us freedom. and he, mm -hmm. he's the life that he it's offers okay. us this abundant life that satisfies mm -hmm. and verse 10 says but i have come to give you everything in abundance more than you expect life in its fullness until it overflows That's awesome in John 14, Jesus said, I will ask the Father, and He will give you another comforter, a counselor, a helper, intercessor, advocate, strengthener, and mm -hmm. standby, that He may remain with you forever. The Spirit of truth, mm -hmm. whom the world cannot receive, yeah. they can't welcome Him, they can't take Him to heart, mm -hmm. because it doesn't see Him or know Him. But yeah. you know and recognize Him, for He lives with you constantly and will be in you. Yes. In that verse, Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Father gave us the gift of salvation through Jesus. And Jesus gave us the gift of transformation mm -hmm. through the Holy Spirit. This is amazing. Yeah. So in the same way we receive the gift of salvation through faith in Jesus Christ, we can receive the gift of transformation by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And Acts 1.8 says, we receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on us. The Holy Spirit reveals truth and empowers us to think differently and live this new life. Mm -hmm. Every believer needs the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to be transformed by His power and His presence. Yes. This journey is about allowing the Holy Spirit to reveal the truth that frees and transforms, renewing our mind to understand and live from the abundant life Jesus died to give us as who we already are in Christ. Mm -hmm. Luke 11, 13 says, if you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Mm -hmm. So we want to ask God right now to fill us with the Holy Spirit. And if you like to open your hands like this in mm -hmm. position to receive and join us in prayer, Father, we believe your word that you will give the Holy Spirit to those who ask. And so we ask you, Father, to fill us now with your Holy Spirit, and we receive the fullness of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit. Holy Spirit, we ask you to guide us on our journey. Amen. Amen. The Father gave us Jesus to us so that... Reconnect us back to the Father. Yeah, us, yeah to his family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Families talk laugh and argue and cry together uh most important most important part of your journey to transformation is to develop a honest open relationship with god which involves not only talking to god but more importantly learning the ways god speak and how to hear him Many people pray to God without ever really stopping to listen sure, to God. Right. Our prayers can often be like leaving a message on an answering machine and we say everything we want to say and then hang up. <laughs> See, uh, the Bible says in John 10, 27 that God's children hear His voice. And after each video, we have provided an activation where we will suggest ways to pray, action to take, and questions you can discuss with God. Remember, the Holy Spirit is your guide on this journey. Mm -hmm. Truly, 
move forward in this path and experience metanoia and transformation, it will be necessary to process each lesson with the Holy Spirit and mm-hmm. determine how you can begin applying what you've learned in your life. Mm-hmm. You may use the guided steps and activation under each video on the website and be open to other ways the Holy Spirit would direct you to go deeper in your understanding. Isaiah 28, 29 says that God is wonderful in counsel and excellent in wisdom. Mm-hmm. There is no problem that we face beyond His ability and wisdom. Our mind is limited in what it can know and understand without the Spirit. Yeah, our mind is like this little USB drive. Mm -hmm. And God's spirit is like this unlimited cloud drive. And that's why it's so important that we learn to hear with our spirit and be counseled by the Holy Spirit and get those downloads from the cloud to our little limited mind in USB. To get his heavenly wisdom. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you want to go deeper on this topic, check out the Climb Higher link at the bottom of the webpage for step one of my journey to transformation. And when you are ready to move forward, we'll see you at step two, which is ABBA Legitimate Identity.